Using a rotting lawnmower, Sherry, the landscaper of a large park, can mow the lawn in T hours. With a small mower, her assistant Bob needs two more hours, T plus two hours to mow the same lawn. So they have given you time and we are mowing one lawn. So let's write this down. We have Sherry, we have Bob. Uh, I just wrote bad and then the lights went out. So that's it, I'm going home now. <laughs> Let's fix this. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> and then they work together. That's a smaller, smaller lawnmower, so it takes them a little bit longer. Because she's hogging the good one. Okay, using a riding lawnmower, Sherry. Oh, we're dealing with lawns per hour. Now, it's kind of odd to say, well, it's lawns when there's only one lawn, which really means all your numerators are going to be and so Sherry can mow the lawn in T hours. Bob is in T plus two hours, and together, when they do this, it's gonna take them, how long? Four and a half. Ooh, common denominator, I wonder what it is. Common denominator is going to be every denominator that you see, so it's gonna be T, T plus two, and 4.5. And we're gonna just put that on all of them. T, T plus two, and 4.5. T, T plus two and 4.5. Okay, fantastic. Here we go. Let's start canceling some stuff out. T cancels with T, T plus two cancels with T plus two and 4.5 cancels with 4.5, which leaves us with one times T plus two times 4.5. That is 4.5 T plus 4.5 times two, so nine. Okay, that leaves us also here with one times T times one times 4.5, so 4.5 T. And that is equal to T times T plus two. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be quadratic. What are we gonna do? Oh dear. Well, now it's getting cloudy outside. So the lights went out, it's getting cloudy outside. Maybe I should just stop the problem. 9t plus 9. Okay, we're going to move everything to one side because that's what we do with quadratic equations, right? So it's quadratic. Maybe we can factor. Maybe we can't. If we can't, I might cry. Uh, t squared, we're going to subtract 9 from 2. It's going to give me negative 7t. And then subtract 9 to the side. It's going to give me negative 9. So 0 equals that. And no matter how hard you try, you will not be able to factor it. So commence crying. Wah. Uh, what I am going to do instead, and you can use Desmos, I'm going to graph this. I'm going to use x instead of t. I'm going to use xx instead of x squared. Works the same. It's faster to type, in my opinion. And I want to find x-intercepts. That's the whole point. You're finding x-intercepts. You could use the quadratic formula if you like. But I want to know exactly where those are. So based on what I see, and you probably see the same thing on Desmos. You better. That looks like it's about 8. It's not eight, okay? It's a little more than eight, and I wanna be very exact about it, so I'm gonna go through a process here that um, you don't have to know how to do. But I got 8.11, so 8.11. Now, if you're thinking, all right, that's great, but what about this x-intercept? What about that x-intercept? It's negative. Negative what? Negative hours? Yeah, I haven't invented a time machine yet. I mean, I'm going to invent a time machine yesterday, but in the meantime, I haven't done it yet. That was a bad joke. Anyway, 8.11 hours. We're going to ignore the negative x-intercept. When you have a quadratic equal to zero, you're dealing with x-intercepts if you're trying to solve it. 